Hey, it's Ryan Share here with the latest version of DEX 3.3. This is a video demonstration of how easy it is to make a backup of your database. And by database, I'm not referring to just the database list in DEX 3, although it does contain that list if you have files in your database. When I say database, it's the file that DEX 3 references for basically all your custom user lists, your history, um, the database if you have stuff populated in it, and your search cache, all the files that have been adding to your search cache so you can quickly search them in DEX3. All of that data is written to one file. It also includes cue point data, uh, reference for the waveforms that it creates upon loading uh, the track into the DEX. Basically, all that information is stored in one file. So obviously, once you've built your library, created your custom user list, imported your media into the database if you've done that, um, you would want to make a backup of that just in case of failure for some reason, machine failure, hard drive failure, reinstallation, what have you. Uh, you'll have a backup of your database and your search cache and everything else. Um, your favorite folders are actually stored in a separate uh, XML file located in the same directory on your Windows or Mac machine. Uh, I am doing this demonstration on a Windows machine, but on Mac, um, it applies as well because the data is stored in your Docs folder, whereas on Windows it's stored in your Documents folder. Uh, but it's going to be the same folder that we're going to access here in a second and show you how it works. So your favorites are stored in a separate XML. However, any of the folders that have been opened one time in the software, whether that's favorites or through Explorer or Finder on a Mac, those files, the contents of those files, are added to the search cache, which is also stored in the database. So now that you've built your library, you want to make a backup of it. You're going to close DEX3. We're going to exit. Now, I've already opened up my documents folder on my Windows hard drive here. Um, on a Mac, it's in Docs. But you're going to proceed to the folder, the directory here, labeled PCDJ-DEX3. Open that folder. Within that folder, you'll see various folders for DEX3, where it stores you know, user-created controllers, user skins. Uh, we're going to look at the database folder. Just to show you what's in that database folder quickly, as I said, it has your database, which stores your search cache, um, cue points, user lists, history, database, all that stuff. Um, the favorites is uh, basically telling the software which folders you've nested as favorites from your hard drive. And this basically shows you your column settings and things uh, of that nature. So you're going to want to back up all of this stuff. So we'll just back back up. We're going to right click on database. You can either just highlight it and hit control C on Windows um, to copy um, or just right click copy. Now you're going to want to put this in a folder outside of this folder. So what I've done outside of the DEX3 directory, I've got, I'll go back to documents and as you see in documents, I've got a folder or directory here labeled database backup. Open that, right click, paste, or you can do control V and it will paste a backup of your database. So just to show you how this works, okay, so everything's backed up now. I'll go back into documents, go back in my DEX3 folder, and I'm just gonna delete my database folder. So it's gonna be empty. So I'm not gonna recreate it because DEX3 will create the database folder again on startup. So just to show you, we'll open up DEX3 right now. And it's going to ask you to add files because it has got a bare bones library. There is nothing in it. This is just like a fresh in installation of DEX3. So I'm just going to close this again. Go back to my directory here where I made the backup. Back to documents. I'm going to right click on database. I can do control C or just copy it. You just want to make a copy of it. You want to leave it there in case you need it again. Go back into the DEX3 folder and just right click anywhere within this folder right click not on anything in particular just right click or do a control v to paste but in this instance we're going to right click and choose paste it's going to ask you if you want to replace the files yes we do replace files we replace them all so now that my backup of my database has been restored to the original directory the dex3 directory and documents or docs we're going to fire up dex3 again And there you go. My library is back just the way I created it.
with everything intact. So that's a quick way to make backups in case of catastrophic failure or whatever else. You've got a backup of all that hard work you put into building your Dex3 library the way you wanted it.